In the previous video, we learned how to switch on the computer, how to log into the computer, and then how to switch off the computer. In this video, we're going to learn how to navigate around the computer once we've logged in. I'm going to demonstrate as we work through. To start off with, I've got this computer which we have logged into. As you can see, it's displaying the desktop. On the desktop, you'll find icons of various programs that we've installed. In addition to these programs, you may find documents which you have saved on the desktop. In the bottom, we have what we call a taskbar. This dark blue section is what we refer to as the taskbar. At the extreme left end, we have the start button. The start button is identified as a button with a window with four panes. You'll notice that when you go over the button, which is currently white, it turns blue and you notice it says start. If I click on that button, you'll notice a pop-up menu appears. It gives me several options to power up the computer, to change the settings of the computer, as well as to access various applications or software on the computer. To the immediate right of the start button, we have a search pane. In this search pane, we can type the name of a program that we'd like to open, a document that is saved on the computer, or we can even search the internet using this search pane. As we go further right, we have a button which allows us to toggle between different views on the computer. This allows us to be able to see our programs all at once, or to be able to see just the program which we're working on, which in this case is the desktop. As we go further right, we have icons of programs which we have pinned to the taskbar. By pinning a program to the taskbar, it becomes easy for us to open that program. We will typically pin programs which we open regularly to the taskbar. On the extreme right-hand side of the taskbar, we'll typically find the date and time, we'll find the language settings of our keyboard, as well as other applications and icons which represent the volume of our music, the internet connectivity, the battery, as well as the microphone settings. On this side, you may see different applications depending on what's installed on your computer and the type of computer that you're using.